Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I am going to put some protection on my steel books. So I bought these from Steelbook Central. I have two different ones. The majority of them are the C, the SCF ones. These are the full protectors that cover all sides. And the other ones are the SC2 Steelbook slip covers, which I think they're running low on these. So I only bought 10 to try them out. And those are the ones that protect uh, almost all the sides except the spine. So then you can see the spine right there. So join me on installing all of these on my steel books. All right, so we're gonna start with some of the cool Spider-Man ones. So these are really easy. Uh, they just have to fold at the seams they're already kind of like pre-marked. Pre, I don't know what to call it. So what I like to do is I like to look at where this junction is. There's like a like a seam where they overlap and I don't want my spine to be over that. So I kind of aligned it where my front also, I'll show you in a little bit. Let me organize this a little bit. So orientation. So where these fold back and are at the back. So they're not in front of my cover. Let's put that one over. And then like that. So I bought these from Steelbook Central. They get shipped worldwide. So look at that. So then it has a little protective film. So let's take that and see. How this puppy looks this is going to be very useful for when i move they'll be nicely protected so this there you go look at that check that out so i'm going to keep doing these to all of my steel books that's probably going to take all day and i'll do probably like a speed run or or just come back at the end and show you the the shelving how it looks afterwards all right so we'll be back let me enjoy some of these installation process also i have my my fiance here helping me that's gonna look so cool it's gonna take more space on the shelves i know that and it's going to make it where I probably need to buy some extra furniture. I'm already running out of space. But these need to be protected. I am getting some scratched. And if I move one more time, which I am, I'm just going to make it more, more difficult and harder on the steel box because it's going to... They're gonna get scratched a little bit more. So on a lot of these, I'm going to leave the film so the protector doesn't scratch up when, when I move. But once I get to the States, I will remove this. Also, let's see. So I'll, I'll keep doing that to these, but let me show you the other ones. These are the SC2, which has have the opening. So let's try this. So what I like to do is, you know, kind of get it squared up. And these are going to have like a little bit of a, they're flimsy because their one opening is open. So you're not going to get a full, nice and sturdy looking box. So maybe that's why there are probably not that many of these or they're not selling so many because of the overall feeling is not as good. But it should be fine for a lot of the applications where you want the, the actual spine to be popping out and you can look at it. It's pretty cool. So that's how easy it is. You see how it's kind of open there. And let's try it a few times. But once the steel book is in there, a little bit of an adjustment. There it is. And once it's in there, this will 
nice to get squished in there. But the whole point is protecting it from scratches. And if there was a better method of this staying a little bit nice and you know tight on there, it would have been much much better. But yeah, it looks cool. Look at that. Just protects it on this side, so when they're like this, they're not scratching each other. It protects the bottom, the top, and the back. And then you just have that. And you have a little opening where you can slide uh, the steel book out. Bam. Nice, nice slip cover here. Look at that. Makes it look really nice. Look. Completely love this. And then once you put it on your shelf, let's see. It looks like there's no protection. But it's going to be much nicer than with the poly bags. So. Let me finish all of these and then I'll show you once I'm done. All right, so that's how it's going to start looking. That's the first shelf. <clears throat> so let's look at that. Look, it looks nice and uniform. Uh, this one is doesn't have it because it already has its own slip cover. So I didn't want to waste one on that. And there's a lot of glare. And that's the other ones. So these are the SC2s. I believe this is the only the, the one that I bought a pack of 10. So that looks amazing because the spine is exposed, but everything else is nicely protected. So all the other sides, all the other sides are nicely protected. And that's how it used to look. So you see with a baggie and all that. So we're moving away from that. And we're going on to this. These look now similar to premium packaging just this thing makes a big of a difference look at that <clears throat> so i'm going to continue i have my little workstation here and then i'll be back hopefully soon to give you a final look on how these are coming up like look at that all right, so that's going to be like the before. Pretty cool. All right, so we are finished. And that's the the carnage. That's all the extra stuff. And now let's see what happened. So here's my premium ones. All right, so that's the premium ones. Now we have the first row of the steel books here. That looks really nice. Then we have the next one right here. Look at that. Very cool. Next roll looks nice and sharp. And then I'm missing like about, I'll say 20 steel books in this area right here. But look at that. That looks nice and uniform now. Look at that. And then that's the, like, how I have the baggies on the other ones. And that's how this is going to look. All right, so that is it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please check out their uh, product. It's called SteelbookCentral.com. They have a bunch of different covers. So they have the protective covers for the HD Zeta, the blue fans. Plain Archive, these are the HD Zeta. They have also the covers and the protectors for the one clicks for all of the brands pretty much. And if you have any doubt or any questions, just email customer service, they're really good and they can resolve and tell you what size is better for your, your need. Because they, they know, they exactly know what it is. So that is it for today guys, please subscribe. Please let me know what you think, you think this was much better than before i think so and i really dig these right here look at that if it ever focuses there we go so that has the spine open to the outside and these don't i like i just like how they look nicely uniformed all right guys thank you very much for watching catch you on the next one Bye bye